Welcome to your next installment of Ubuntu for Newbies. Uh, as you see right here, my Unity bar is on the bottom. It is not on the side like normal. Um, what I did, I found, uh, I went to the OMG Ubuntu website and there's a article on how to uh, rotate. It's called Unity Shell, Unity Rotator, or Unity Shell Rotate. It's how to rotate it from the side to the bottom. And as you see, it looks a lot better that way. Um, I like it better that way. I don't like the Unity anyway. Um, I don't use Unity on my normal stuff, but uh, just in case some of you out there are still using Unity, you're trying your best to like it, this is just another manipulation, in my opinion, makes it a little bit better. Uh, first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to open up a terminal, and you'll need to type, this is the first one, this puts the PPA in your uh, software sources, and then this line right here actually updates and then installs the settings manner for comp the Unity Shell Rotator Compiz Manager. For, uh, stuff for compiz. So once you've done those two, you'll need to open up your compiz, uh, compiz settings manager. Uh, you see, I'm, I've already got mine set, so I'm just going to walk you through it. Once you install those, then you you'll uncheck the Ubuntu U, Uni, Unity plugin, and then you'll check the Ubuntu Unity plugin rotator. Once you check this, you'll have a conflict uh, between this one and this and the desktop wall, and you'll have to resolve those conflicts. Now, when I did this, my computer froze, stopped working, everything. Uh, so I waited about three minutes. It didn't come back. It just totally locked up everything. So I went ahead and hit the reset button, started my computer back up, logged back into my test uh, my test area, and the Unity bar was down there. So I guess it's just a slight glitch but it's there is a way to round it so make sure you don't have nothing else open you're not doing anything else just knock that out and come back up and you'll be good i would say wait about 30 seconds to a minute before you restart your computer uh, just to make sure it takes like it's supposed to but uh once you do that then you can go into the unity uh stuff right here this is basically the exact same configuration settings area as the other one is so basically i just go ahead and click on that um, I've got mine right now to never hide my launcher for this video so that you can see the, the launcher down there so it doesn't uh, go away. Um, the experimental, I've turned my backlight off and I've took the oxygen all the way down to zero so that it, it would be see-through. Um, I've also took the panel here uh, and took it down to zero so it's invisible. And I took my icon launcher size down to 38 because I wanted smaller icons. Uh, once you do that, then you'll be good to set to go. Um, also, just for your knowledge, uh, part of the OMG uh, Ubuntu website, it, the article itself had different pictures that you can, or PNGs that you can put in, icons that you can replace some of the Unity ones. So you see that's kind of new, that's new, these are all new, um, and the launcher down here is all new. <clears throat> um, they have a Button you can click inside the website itself that'll let you uh, download and then extract these images So you and then tells you exactly how to install them I'm not going to go through that because that's their stuff and I want and I want you guys to go to this website because it is a really really good website So uh, but that'll do it for now. Uh, the other thing here in the next Few days I'm probably going to go ahead and show you how to manipulate comp is and get back to my rotating desktop cube with 3D windows and all the animations with paint fire on the screen and everything else um, while still trying to get the Unity to work correctly. So uh, I, I've done it on another desktop already, uh, login, uh, but I'm not using Unity on that, that login. I'm, I totally kind of just unchecked my Unity and went into just using my uh, Karyo docs, which uh, I'll probably put that in a video also. So. Until next time, y'all have a great one.